Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about a new ColourPop product. This is called the Supernova Eyeshadow. I'm not going to lie, when I first saw these, I was so excited about them. And I have been trying them out for a while now, and I love them. I will just tell you guys that already. They are so super fun. And if you don't know, well, now you're going to know. I'm obsessed with these Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Shadows. I use these all the time on my lids. I think they're so beautiful, so easy to use. You just pop them on your eyelid, it dries down, and you don't have the mess of loose glitter and having to put down a base. They're amazing. So I was kind of curious if these were going to be just like that. I will be doing comparisons, tell you guys the difference between the Stila ones and these ones, and then I'm also going to create a look using the new ColourPop You Had Me at Hello eyeshadow palette as well. This is a really beautiful neutral palette. I really like it. It has gorgeous shades, mattes, shimmers. I love it. I've been using this as well. So yeah, I'm going to do a lot of comparisons, swatches, and an eye look. If you're curious and you want to know more about these Supernova eyeshadows, then keep on watching. First of all, let's talk about the packaging. It is identical to the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, except it has a silver lid instead of a white one, in case you were just curious about that. So identical. And also these are going to be $7, which is freaking awesome. I think that's a really, really good deal. These are described as a super metallic and glitter liquid shadow that just dries down and stays on your lids all day long. And I really do have to agree with that. I have been wearing them, trying them out, and they just literally don't budge from your eyes until you're ready to wash your makeup off. So that's what I really love about these. I think they're just so fun and easy to use. You can just pop it on your lid, blend it out with your finger, and call it a day. Honestly, that's what I do. As of now, they have five shades, but I definitely hope that they expand on that because I really like these and I want them in more colors. <laughs> I've zoomed you guys in a little. I'm going to compare the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Shadows, such a long name, to the Supernova eyeshadows from ColourPop. I'm going to swatch a few on my arms just to show you guys the difference in the consistency, the way it looks, all that jazz. So let's get into it. So right here we have the Supernova eyeshadow from ColourPop in the shade Walk of Fame, which is a personal favorite. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this on my wrist. You can see these are super creamy. They do dry down and they don't budge at all. You can layer them or you can wear them lightly. And this is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow in the shade Rose Gold Retro. I'm just going to swatch that right underneath. I'm like doing this without a mirror, so please excuse my horrid swatching skills. What am I even doing right now? So this top one is ColourPop and this one is Stila. Now the similarities between the two is they're super reflective and sparkly and beautiful. They both dry down on the lid. You do not need a base for either one of them and they last really, really long. The difference is I think the Stila ones generally have more silver sparkles in them and the ColourPop ones, they do have this sparkly reflectiveness, but I feel like they are more metallic rather than glitter, like pure glitter, if that makes any sense. I hope that it does. I'm going to swatch one of the darker shades from ColourPop. This is Firecracker. It's so freaking beautiful. It's like this crimson metallic. So here we have Firecracker. Excuse my swatches once again. As you can tell, the sparkle on this one is a little bit more subtle than the first one. I believe Walk of Fame is probably the most glittery, sparkly of the five from ColourPop. But these ones are a beautiful metallic, kind of more of a pigmented liquid eyeshadow. And I think they're still really, really gorgeous and reflective. And it does still have glitter, but they are a little bit more subtle. And I'm going to swatch one of the darker Stila ones I have, and this is in Bronzed Bell. This is going to go right underneath. So there we have it. You can definitely, definitely tell these Stila ones are way more silver glittery than the ColourPop ones. So you guys can kind of see like a difference. Like I said, I believe this one is the most glittery out of the five, but I still think they're all really, really pretty. But that's my little comparison. I hope it was helpful. Like I said, I did post a picture on Instagram swatching all the ColourPop ones next to Stila ones. So you guys can check that out. Makeup by Jesse. Maybe I'll just insert the picture here too, but I did put like a little review under it as well. With that said, I think I'm going to go straight into creating an eye look and actually put the, putting these on my eye, hello, and then I'm going to swatch them on my arm for you guys. Like I said, I'm going to use the new ColourPop You Had Me At Hello eyeshadow palette. I love the shades in here, and I want to use a shade Moonlit because I haven't used this on my eyes yet. I want to kind of create like a glitter wing. I haven't tried that yet, and these are very multi-use. You can put them on your lid, you can use that as a base, you can use that as a liner. So I'm going to try it out as a liner today. So let's get into uh, the look. Starting off with this shade down here first. This is going to go into my crease. And as usual, I don't have a base on my eyes, just like foundation and powder. 
I don't really use eyeshadow primers very often. I don't particularly have like oily lids or anything like that. So I'm just gonna kind of diffuse this all over my crease. I'm gonna go straight into this matte plummy color and I'm also going to pop this into my crease as well. I'm gonna take this matte dark chocolate brown and this is gonna go in the crease, but I'm gonna focus it more on the outer. I'm not gonna bring it in too much. I like to lay it down first, get all the pigment. And then with a, another blending brush, I like to just go in and start diffusing it. It makes it a lot easier to blend than trying to blend with the same saturated brush. If you ever feel like you picked up too much eyeshadow and put on too much, you can always take a clean up brush and just blend it out. I'm taking a smaller little pencil brush in the little matte plum shade, and this is going to go underneath the bottom lash line. I'm just going to smoke this out. I'm going to do the same thing with the dark brown. I'm going to keep it closer to the outer. For my lids, I'm going to take this beautiful metallic color right here, and I'm just going to pop that right in the center. For the inner corners of my eye, I'm going to take this metallic gold shade right here and I'm going to pop a little bit of that right in here. I think that's good for the eyeshadow so far. If I want to add anything later, I will. But I want to get to applying the Supernova shadow as my wing. This is going to look really, really pretty. Kind of goes with that like plummy look. So I'm going to go ahead and take the applicator apply some on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna take a very thin angled brush, treat this as a gel liner, and I'm just gonna start creating a wing. This is what the liner looks like. Of course, you can do a black wing and then put this on top if you want it to be more intense and darker. But I actually like how subtle it looks and then it just catches the light and it's like, whoa, what's on your eyes? But I think I'm going to take this one step further. I'm going to take my favorite shade. This is Walk of Fame. This is kind of like the lightest one of them all. And I want to pop a little bit in the center of my eye just for the heck of it. And I'm going to use my finger to kind of diffuse it. So I'm not going to put it on super pigmented, but I want a little bit of sparkle on my lid as well. So I have it on the back of my hand and I'm going to just take a little on my finger. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my lid just for a subtle little sparkle. Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. It like totally elevated the look, kind of gives you the wet look. I am obsessed with that. Love. I'm in like a glitter wonderland right now. I'm going to pop on some mascara, the usual. You know how it goes. The Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. I love this stuff so much. This is the finished eye look. I freaking love how this came out. I think it looks so beautiful. I, for one, am a huge fan of like sparkly glitter eyes. I think it just looks really, really pretty. I think these kind of remind me of the Super Shock shadows in a liquid form, like the more sparkly glittery ones. I always would put that on my lid in the center for like that wet look. I personally find that these don't fade at all. Um, I applied it all over my lid and it still looked exactly the same at the end of the night. So yeah, I guess it goes without saying that I absolutely love these so, so freaking much. To finish off the look for my lipstick, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Take 5. I think this color would look really, really pretty with the eyes. I am totally feeling my look, but to turn it up a notch, because why not? Glitter lips are all the rage these days, so I want to take the shade of Firecracker and I want to apply a little to the center of my lips just to kind of give it a little bit of a sparkle, because why not? <laughs> I'm just taking my finger. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I'm gonna put that on top. Mm. Oh? Oh my gosh. I mean, it doesn't say anywhere, put it on your mouth, but I'm really glad I tried it because it's actually beautiful. It transformed my liquid lipstick into a beautiful metallic glittery sparkle lip, but it's also quite wearable. It's not like intense sparkle where it's like kind of costumey. I actually really like this. I would wear this out, no doubt. The fact that it actually dries down and doesn't stay wet or sticky feels amazing. My lips don't feel heavy or cakey feeling. 
they don't feel gritty it just feels like I have a liquid lipstick on my lips and it doesn't even transfer the only thing that transferred a little bit was my liquid lipstick but there's like no glitter on my hand so that's the final look using these supernova eyeshadows I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them on my wrist so you guys can see all the shades and I'll be right back on the new ColourPop Supernova eyeshadows. I hope that I didn't forget to talk about anything, but if I did, I'll put all the information down in the description bar below. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about these. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Let me know. I personally love these. I think they're so much fun and I can't wait for them to hypothetically come out with more colors. Wink wink, please. Colourpop. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Messy Jessie Beauty, just like on my YouTube channel. Jessie Jacked is my Snapchat. I will put it right here. Of course, Instagram, Makeup by Jessie. I just keep doing this. I feel like Vanna White on Wheel of Fortune. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Uh -huh. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.